When we first started coming to White Oak, we kept seeing the shaking thing. People have the bracelets and the shirts and stuff. And we were like, man, like, what? how did you get a part of that club? Yeah. My name's Chris and this is Rachel Spisick. When we walked into White Oak, it was uh, this welcoming community, you know, in this lobby, conversations going on. It felt like home right out of the gate. Like as soon as you just stepped in them doors and then the worship part of our sermon, it's, uh, it's special. It talked to me in a time of need where I needed that community and I needed somebody to lift me up in the darkest time in my life. Yeah, and I needed a life group. I needed um, something to do, women to talk to. And then um, Kelly heard me, overheard me saying it, and then got my name, got my number, texted me within days. And then lo and behold, I am a member of Sally's group and it took no time. So it was pretty amazing to become a part of a community and a home that quickly. It ultimately, put us in a situation to where we didn't have anywhere else to go or anyone else to talk to or ask questions, you know, for help, but the Lord, you know, the church. Started looking for, you know, answers and wondering, you know, what I had done and why I had chose alcohol over my wife and my family. Because it's really easy to blame the Lord for your mishaps and your wrongdoings and stuff, but that's not how he works. That's not how it works, you know? It's uh, it's our free will that does, you know, the evil and the bad things. So, you know, you've really got to dig deep and put your faith in the Lord and know that he's got your back. And that's what that conversation was, was him telling me, I'm here, I'm with you. It's been really scary. Um, <laughs> as dark as times as we're going through, um, it seems like as long as we keep praying and have this faith, he's answering our prayers. You know, they're obviously not the way, you know, everybody wants him to be or expects, you know, all these magical prayers to happen, but it's, uh, it's what the, he's worked in different ways and came and provided in different ways than, you know, we could ever even dream of or ask for. It's been life changing. It really has. It's been beautiful to watch. Yeah. It's been incredible. There's, it's hard to even, uh, put words to it, but if there's anything I know that's real, it's God and I believe in him and I trust in him every day. We'll never forget it, you know, we'll um, always be in debt to him, to everybody that's helped us along this uh, this journey. You know, it's we've had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. The downs just, you know, seem like they don't stop, but we've got our faith and we've got the church that's right behind us with us. So it was, one of those things where it was really scary on what we could make a commitment to of giving back. And, um, you know, we went home and talked about it and we'd set a number and it was like, okay, well, we need to probably double because if we're saying that number, that's the comfortable thing. And what it was, it was the part of, you know, giving back to the church and making that, you know, bold commitment. and. Uh, we, you know, have tried to give as much as we could in the time that we're in right now with, I lost my job and, uh, you know, that's also where the church has come and um, helped provide uh, a vehicle in a time of need and rides, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some financial stuff they've come and helped. So with the new commitment, um, with all the generosity that we've received from um, the church and the community, there's nothing else better that we can do than to give back, be a part of this initiative and see what White Oak and the Lord has in store for us in future years.